Uh, hey, uh, Van Gaal saying uh, we got an advantage in penalties. Uh, if we go to penalties, we win. I think he need to keep his mouth shut. Welcome to my YouTube channel and another surprise awaits all football fans when Morocco play against Portugal and England battles it out with France at the quarterfinals in the World Cup. By all means, I can say that out of the several football cups I have watched, this is by far the most exciting. There's no underdog and teams are squaring it out like the big dogs. First of all, Brazil vs Croatia. This was one of the most anticipated matches with most football fanatics rooting for Brazil to go through to the semi-finals. Neymar Jr. had hinted that this could be his last World Cup and a couple of others including Dani Alves. In my opinion, Croatia could not match Brazil's intense pressing and attacking, but they had two secret cards, Dominic Livakovic and Luka Modric. Livakovic made six saves against Brazil, which was by far one of the highest in a single World Cup history. On the other hand, Modric bossed the midfield and defended the aggressive Samba boys. After a goal rest draw in regular time, the two teams went to extra, to extra times, with Brazil scoring through their star Neymar. On the second half, three minutes into the last whistle, Croatia equalized through Petkovic, forcing the two teams to face off in penalties. Croatia won the penalties 4-2 with sports kicks from Vlasic, Meja, Modric and Orsic going through. In the next match, Netherlands gave Argentina a run for their talent and money, maybe. Argentina were the first to score in the third. Fifth minute through Molino who had received a superb cross from Lionel Messi. In the 73rd minute, Lionel Messi would score from the penalty spot, sending the South African nation two goals up. On the 83rd minute, we host would score a goal for Netherlands before adding another one on the 101st minute of the added time in regular playtime. The two teams would go for penalties where Argentina won 4-3. When other players were running to the fans to celebrate the win, Lionel Messi understood who saved them from elimination. Check this out. Oh my God! Messi! 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 I can say that this was one of the worst refereed matches in this World Cup, with the referee Antonio Mateo dishing 18 yellow cards. On other news, I realized that most Africans are now rooting for Portugal to win over Morocco following the utterances of Morocco's Sofiane Bofal who dedicated their win against Spain to the Arab world and Muslims globally or meeting Africa. Make sure you subscribe.